part two now is registering to your local board. For me, I am registering with the Rob board, which is the RAHB, Realtors of Realtors Associ Real Estate Association. Oh, goodness. The Realtors Association of Hamilton Burlington. I'm gonna go through this quickly because my phone is gonna die. Okay, so this is their application, which you can get on their website. Any board, I'm sure they will have access to. Um, so in filling this out, we're doing a new salesperson application. This is for brokerage, I don't need to fill it. You need to print your name. So I put Tori Akini, and then this office, um, to be honest, my broker of record had sent this form to me, so she completed most of this. Um, office transferring to, like all this, you just put NA because we're not transferring from anywhere. So your brokerage will fill in this information with their stuff. And then the date license issued. So you can't apply to your local board until RICO approves you and you get your registration number. So once I got my registration number, I put in my registration number and then your registration number. Okay, so then you just fill in these disclosure questions. I will be acting as a branch manager. Nope. In the last 12 months, was I a member of a real estate association? Nope. I am currently a member of another real estate association? Nope. It, it is possible to be members of two, more than one local board. Whole other story. Ask your broker of record about it, if, if need be. It's expensive, but it's possible. Um, make sure you read these disclosures here. Make sure you read this disclosure here. And then you just fill in your personal information, male or, me male or female, email, home address, your cell phone number, if you'd like to appear in the roster. So here you have to create a temporary password because they're gonna create an account for you. So you can just create a temporary password like August 20. Like just a general password so that they can create an account and then the first time you sign in you'll be given that option to um, Change the password so here with these fees is where I got confused You know what they don't tell you all the fees ahead of time It caught me off guard, but anyways like the new member entrance fee entrance fees a thousand dollars, which I knew um, the membership dues which is quarterly is 125 the Aurea, which is quarterly, is $28. The Korea, 77 quarterly processing fee, $50. So you have to put in the amount. So I had just added all of these amounts and it was like $12.80. So I put that there. Uh, we thought it was right. I filled in my credit card information. Um, again, the broker of record fills in this and then I sent off the application and then they came back to me saying, oh, no, 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 honey, <laughs> the registration fees is 1700. I'm like, oh, okay. So let me see if it's here. Like the form was misleading, but they do have a chart on here, which was more accurate and the correct answer. So here 2020 membership fees. So they, because the fees, it's hard to explain, but depending on the time of the, the year that you sign up, the fees change because the fees are really, I think it's August to August, their calendar years. So like me, I applied in August. So it was this amount, 1796. If I were to apply next month, it would have been $2,000. Like you see how it changes per month. So I like, I tried looking up Toronto, the Treb, I wasn't able to find something like this. So I'm glad Hamilton was able to provide this. But um, this is the fee that you have to have available on a credit card or whatever method of payment they gave. So the entrance fee is 1000 you have dues of $83, the Aurea is 28 the Aurea initiation fee is 200 the Korea is 77 the Korea initiation is 200 plus HST, altogether that bad boy, <laughs> this month is $1,796 Canadian. So that's what you had to be made available and then they also break it down here your 2020 existing quarterly member fees this is what we pay quarterly um as ongoing and then there's a monthly member computer fee of 38 dollars so in any event so 
it's a lot it's a lot so you apply to rico you pay 590 dollars. once i applied to rico i had to pay the errors and admission insurance which is something that got slipped in there which everybody has to pay but that was 506 dollars and then I had to pay these local board fees, which was $1,796. So I'm gonna add the total here for you. I didn't pre-calculate it because I don't wanna know it, but I'll, I'll put it on the screen here. But in total, you know what, in general, the process was very fast, at least for me it was. I had applied to RICO on a Tuesday. I got a follow-up on the Wednesday. They gave me my conditional approval on the Thursday. I then paid for, after my broker of record signed off and everything, um, it was approved like Friday morning, like 9 a.m. Then by 10 a.m. I paid my um, errors and emission insurance. And then by like 12 noon, I applied to my local board. And these people were just amazing and they were able to approve me like by like two like three o'clock in the afternoon I was approved officially licensed registered and everything set to go so I am so happy and so excited and that's where I am now and that's my story I hope this has helped um, you all looking out there looking to go through the process and that was my experience so I think this is gonna be kind of the last tutorial video of the series of going through the school process for me. I am still going to be recording my, my progress and my journey as being a realtor, but I'm gonna start doing more in the day of, in the, I, um, I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna do something. So stay tuned for how my channel will develop and how my career will develop and um yeah that's it that's all she wrote all right i wish you guys all the best and i am so happy just the thought of everyone getting to this stage it is a long and tiring process so please 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 make sure you celebrate yourself celebrate the progress you made and celebrate with those people who have supported you through it I wish you guys all the best and I hope to see you in the real estate market. Okay, bye guys.